Hi and welcome to my back porch. So today I'm doing a painting for my niece. This is one of my found paintings and I used the Sherwin-Williams color match and that's the sieve that I used for the paint to come through. So I did a lot of editing on this because I wanted to do close-ups of each individual technique that I used on this uh, painting. So um, I am filling a cup, so I'm going to do a dirty cup pour through that sieve first. So when I'm filling this cup, I'm basically using just little dabs of color. I'm doing one of the mixed colors for the painting and then a white and then a mixed color for the painting and then a black because I was hoping to get uh, you know a lot of contrast because the colors are pretty soft but in the end the I don't know if the paint may have been a little thin because it did a lot of mixing the results are still really pretty but it definitely lost I'd say the majority of the individual colors and it has more of a uh, grayish appearance so um, it wasn't exactly what I was looking for but in the end, the whole painting, it turned out well. And I had a real issue with comprehending how this paint would flow out. I waited quite a while for it to come out, and I wasn't, uh, you know, thinking of the way gravity works properly because I ended up eventually picking the cup up a little bit and letting it drain out because in my mind, it should have just emptied, even though that doesn't make sense. So um, I eventually picked the cup up and then move on to the next one. Okay, so this one I decided just to straight pour directly into the strainer. And um, I used the same kind of uh, strategy with going back and forth from colors to black and white. And um, again, I sat there and waited for the, wa the paint to come out, which it wouldn't, so I lifted it up. But I think if I would have just kept pouring paint into it, then um, it would have fallen out the bottom. <laughs> And here I am, I've decided I'm just going to hold it. Kind of doing a stamping motion there, trying to get something to, uh, like, flower up at the bottom. Oh, there went one. That wasn't bad. Okay, on to the third one. On this one, I propped the canvas up a bit and tilted the strainer back a little bit so that the paint would just flow forward. And um, I really liked that because it, um, it, you know, came through faster and easier than all of the other. And it also gave more cells and more of the striations than the other methods did. Okay, so now um, it's time to Tilt the canvas and, oh, first I needed to add a little bit more. I had a little bit of black paint left and I liked the black that was showing up in between the um, sections. So I thought I would get a little more black paint on the canvas and also help with the, uh, the tilting. So my intention was to keep as much of all three on as possible which we all know who do this, that that is a very difficult thing to do. Um, but while it's tipping, it really was showing off the, um, the colors were really showing off and the cells that were there really popped out and got prominent. And here I'm gonna have a few numbers come up. It's gonna show you the first, second, and third 
um, puddles that I started with. So really that second puddle that makes the circular part there on the right hand lower corner. So this turned out really nice. The black line that goes through around, you know, that kind of uh, is the line separating the puddles. It almost has a barbed wire look to me. So I really like what the overall um, painting looks like. And I'll have a few still shots after these close-ups. So if you like this video and you'd like to see more, Hit the like button and subscribe. You can um, share this with somebody that you think might enjoy it. And please comment if you have any tips or questions or suggestions. And thank you.